you're looking to buy a new home? Then you don't want interest rates to go down. Wait, what? Yeah, let's unpack this. Hi, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses and I'm one of the state's top real estate agents. Let me know if you have any questions because I'm here to help. We all know the story. Interest rates shot up due to the historical run-up of the federal funds rate by the Federal Reserve. Now remember that the Fed rate does not itself drive interest rate on mortgages. It's that 10-year treasury that does that. However, the 10-year treasury is influenced by that federal funds rate. So interest rates shot up hitting highs that we haven't seen since 2007. Okay, let's also keep in mind that these highs from a historical perspective aren't really high, but nonetheless, we've been constantly told that the housing market screeched to a halt. However, the sales numbers tell us a little bit of a different story when you look at sales levels that are actually today comparable to the 2012-2014 years. So there's our recap. Why wouldn't you, as a home buyer, want interest rates to go down? It's simply because the market cannot handle any additional competition without going back to the crazy days of stupid multiple offer situations and prices escalating far over a seller's asking price. Let's do a little math. Let's say you pay the asking price on a half a million dollar house at 6% while putting 10% down. For my calculations, that's pr principal and interest payment of $26.98 a month. Now let's say that interest rates go down 1% to 5%, but this decrease in interest rates is going to increase the demand for housing. So rather than selling for $500,000, that house is now going to sell for $575,000. In that scenario, the principal and interest payment on that same exact house is $2,778, not to mention the increase in the down payment of $75,000. $500. Too aggressive? Fair enough. Let's say home prices go up by 10% to $550,000. And at a 5% interest rate with 10% down, your mortgage payment's going to be $2,657. A little less expensive than that 6% scenario, but you had to put an extra $5,000 down. Not to mention, would you really rather pay an extra 50 grand for something to be essentially the same on the same monthly basis? Sorry you got to save $41. It's not a vacuum. When one variable changes, it changes many other variables. Just like in increasing interest rates, decreased buyer demand, and thereby home buyer competition. Decreasing interest rates will increase buyer demand and create more competition. All while inventory levels are still extremely tight. How tight depends on the market that you're in. What I can tell you about Massachusetts is that the inventory levels here are the third tightest in history. What these doom and gloomers can't seem to comprehend is that the two 2008 financial crisis was a housing caused financial crisis. This isn't. Plus, if they were a half bit not lazy, then they'd look at the historical precedence of what happened in the last high inflationary environment. So what happened in the 70s when inflation was sky high? Housing prices went up. Why? Because the value of the dollar was going down. What happens when the value of the dollar goes down? Well, prices go up. Prices for eggs, toilet paper, Diet Coke, cars, and housing. Here are my thoughts. Don't try to outsmart history. Don't try to outsmart the simple economics of supply and demand. The fundamentals of the housing market, they're strong due to an underbuilding of housing and a strong and very well qualified buyer since the 2008 financial crisis. So yeah, you don't want interest rates to go down. It creates more demand, which creates higher prices. Again, my name is Jeffrey Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell in the next nine or 90 days, then I'm your guy. All of my contact information, it's in the description below, or you can reach out to me at youtuberealestateagent.com. So until next time.